Okay, now we are going to see some extended relational algebra operators. Extended, okay. Just like we had external extended entity relationship concepts, we have some extended relational algebra operators. Actually, we have already taken a look at one of these operators that was outer join. Outer join is part of the extended relation algebra. Another thing is generalized projection, which is an extended relational algebra operator. Generalized projection. Okay. This is basically a projection operator plus mathematical expressions. Okay. Let's see what do we mean by this. Let's assume for every goal that a employee scores, he gets 10,000 rupees. Okay. Now we would like to see how much a player has earned in a particular game. Okay. So we would do something like this. We would say project player name comma team against comma venue comma goals multiplied by ten thousand as prize money okay from player goals okay so we will get a relation which is something like this so player name team against Menu and prize money. So let's suppose our Jimmy scored against ABC at PQR two goals. So he would get twenty thousand. Okay. So this is the kind of information that I would have in the result of the above query. Okay. So that was generalized projection. Projection operator with mathematical expression. This is the mathematical expression. This was about generalized projection. Now let's look at another extended relational algebra operator. It is aggregate functions. Okay. Basically this is a collection of operators. Aggregate functions. This is denoted by a calligraphic G. Okay. So this basically operates on a multi set of values. So what do we mean by multi set of values? Remember a relation is a set. Okay. So if we have values like 20, 30, 40, 20 and 50, then the result of a relation would only display 20, 30, 40 and 50. This is a set. But if we have multi sets, then both 